and the crew sprinting up pit road to get to Tyler to celebrate. Second win of the year for this race team and a win at Indianapolis. Crew guys are out of breath. That was about a half mile run for them. Well, I gotta know your thoughts when you saw the one he went through the access road. Were you as shocked as everyone else to see him all of a sudden passing you for the lead? I was like, uh-oh. Uh but, uh, I mean, that was a scenario that had been talked about, you know, if you get bottled up, what do you do when, uh, you know, you take the take the, the access road? And I couldn't believe he got ahead of me. I was, I was kind of waiting to see if he was going to have a penalty because I didn't want to, you know, move him out of the way and, and make, his, make his race worse than, than what it was. So, yeah, I was really surprised by that. But, hey, we made it work. Hats off to Ross for... Uh, trying to do that, but I'm really glad it didn't end up working out because I've been pretty pissed off. I'm sure you would have not been very happy with that. Tyler, you made the announcement you're moving from RCR. How did this team rally to get back to this point where you could come together and win races again? Well, I mean, we just, we know what we're capable of and, and we did that at Road America and certainly it was a little bump in the road, but hey, we'd, we'd gone out and won a race uh, fair and square a couple weeks ago and, and you know, and if we change nothing, we just keep working really, really hard. We find a way back to victory lane and just really glad to be able to do it here in Indianapolis. I mean, this is one really special place to race and really excited to kiss the bricks here in a little bit and really excited that we got 3G their win uh, in their hometown. There you go. As a young man growing up on dirt, Dave, he knew open wheel racing. He loves Indianapolis and now he's a winner here. He gets to kiss the bricks.